Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Okay everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about uh, how to uh, uh, test the variable uh, air induction actuator. Now the um, uh, variable air induction um, on the actuator, as you can see on screen right now, it's a um, what it is. It's a way to change um, exactly what it means. The air induction, the intake manifold uh, runners, make them longer or shorter. Now, why would we want to do that? And the the answer to that is that um, the the car is going to run much better. The engine uh, at idle with long longer um, intake manifold pipes let's just call it that it's called runners but let's just call, call them pipes so with longer pipes uh, it's it's much better it creates a better swirl uh, the speed of, of the incoming air it's increased and so that's why it's done that way uh, so pretty much almost any car out there has variable air induction uh, these days at higher speeds you, you actually gain uh, horsepower by uh, shortening make the um, intake uh, manifold uh, shorter uh, because that's just the way it is that's just the way it works you know so this this system it does exactly that it changes the length of the intake manifold on screen here the uh, red uh, the red uh, air path um, corresponds to the uh, to the higher rpm air path and this is this is what the um, in in the center you could see the flap which is the actuator that we're going to talk about the blue path it belongs to the idle, uh, which is longer. It makes the uh, this is a simplified view, but it pretty much uh, um, goes to a writing right point so that you understand how the system. Uh, I mean, the principle behind uh, this particular system. Variable air induction um, increases the uh, horsepower and the efficiency of the engine by as much as 15, even 18 percent. So this this system is is very. Um, um, it's needed. It's not that it's just there because just to add stuff to the car and, and charge more money. Now, one curious one, a curiosity for this system is that it works uh, almost in the exact same way as the uh, electronic throttle control system. Uh, it is uh, PWM activated, uh, and we're going to show you um, the difference. We we'll show you the difference between actuating uh, this this actuator uh, by PWM. And just turning it on and off by just jumping the, the wires and we'll do that at the end of the video uh, that's not the right way to test these things you know and, and the ECM is not going to actuate the, uh, the the flap actuator uh, by just applying just on and off like that so anyhow we are going to use the ele electro throttle system that we have uh, uh, equipment so uh, to actuate this throttle so this is uh, yet another use for the electro throttle. It's, it's also it's also useful not only for electronic throttle, but it's also useful for uh, uh, solenoids, low speed solenoids, uh, and the uh, and also testing these types of, of air induction sensors. Some air induction sensors uh, or, or actuators are uh, they're stepper motors, so th that's not we cannot test these uh, with the electro with electro throttle. But for the most part, this is a useful uh, tool for that. So as you can see on screen, uh, by using the electro throttle, we can fine tune and very slowly open and close uh, the um, variable air induction actuator. Uh, that way, there's a lot of things that you can gain from. A lot of these flaps, they they do they do have uh, an internal um, a throttle position sensor. So uh, it's not very it's it's, it's not as a, as as in an electro throttle, which is a dual or triple. TPS, but but they do have a sensor to detect a position uh, of the throttle. Uh, so anyhow, uh, with using the, the the unit and slowly actuating the um, the variable air induction actuator, you can actually determine a whole bunch of things. And a lot of these things are very expensive, and they are they are uh, you, you can actually repair them. Uh, you can a lot of them have bolts, and you can actually take them apart and. And go inside, and oftentimes they, they get dirty, they get crappy inside, and and so the unit has to be uh, actuated very slowly. That's the idea, anyways, behind testing these units with the electro throttle, which is exactly the same actuation that the ECM is going to do uh, on these components. 
And finally, very uh, quickly, yeah, we're gonna go uh, and and actuate the unit uh, by jumping the wires, or as if you were using a probe, a power probe, uh, with these units. This that's not recommended because you're not really gonna gain much insight on the uh, on the workings of the unit. You're just gonna see it moving, and that's it. Or or not. It depends. You know, if it's totally shorted, you you won't see anything. But anyhow, so uh, the idea again is to just to actuate these things slowly and. Uh, to de determine the, the mechanism inside, if it's running properly, if it's dirty, if uh, maybe you have some gears that are shot, uh, or whatever, you know. Again, variable air in induction uh, systems, uh, the, the main principle behind it, uh, and we're going to repeat ourselves, is just to change the length of the intake manifold, or the intake pipes, pretty much. And, um, longer length is better for um, at idle and low speeds. Uh, when you go into the high RPM uh, ranges, uh, then you're going to need a shorter um, air intake runners or, or, or pipes, pretty much. This is going to determine whether the engine is going to work at its most efficient uh, way. And it's going to create swirl, it's going to create uh, increase the speed at, at which the, e the air is, r is rushing in into the combustion chamber for the cylinders. And that's the basic principle. So anyhow, um, we appreciate you, um, um, you know, being with us today uh, to get test another, you know, learn how to test another component. And uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishings, Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.